Do you want me to wait until... <laughs> Uh, hello, I'm Nicole and I'm here today to share my story and speak up for those who cannot. I was an ordinary girl in my early 20s, a mother, a worker, a partner and a friend. I was always full of life and energy. I was always off somewhere or planning my next venture. I love concerts, fishing, long walks in the country until you get lost on a warm day and seeing the stars on a clear night. Even as a child, I used to be called a whirlwind because I would never sit still. I began to start feeling unwell in 2015. After a period of illness, I would start coming home from work and sleeping most of the afternoon away. I started making more mistakes, struggling to keep up with my son and my friends, and a busy day at work would leave me in pain and calling in sick more and more often. After admittedly being quite stubborn for a while, I finally took everyone's advice and went to a doctor. I was moved from pillar to post, having every test under the sun, while I gradually deteriorated to the point of giving up my job because I couldn't go on, and I was finally given the di diagnosis for ME in 2017. By then, my whole world had changed. I could no longer run around with my son without feeling the effects. I stopped going out as much and lost friends who just didn't understand. Uh, I don't work even though I look fine. Even on my worst days, I can barely get out of bed. My partner drops everything to care for us. My nine-year-old boy worries about me. Some days I feel like a shadow of my former self. Worst days aside though, I'm learning to love myself the way I am. I found comfort in other things, made new friends, found other ways to bond with my son. I may still feel the effects, but in a way I'm lucky. I still go to concerts now and then. I can spend a few hours out with coffee with my mum. I can take a weekend trip pacing myself, but knowing that I'm going to be sick when I get home. There are many people who can't get out of bed, can barely speak, can't take care of themselves in any way, and have had their lives completely taken from them. Emmy is still such a little known thing, despite it affecting millions all over the world. People trapped in their houses, forgotten like ghosts. More needs to be done. Their voices need to be heard. My voice needs to be heard. We are all people who have dreams of our own and have looked at the night sky dreaming, maybe wishing of who we hope to become. For some, unfortunately, this may never happen and right now there is little to no help. Nothing we can do about it and no cure. Biomedical research is vital. The use of CBT and GET are just not good enough or proven to work. All we want is a way forward. There are children as young as my boy who's nine who has had their livelihood and childhood taken from them and parents punished for having a sick child. Imagine the horror of seeing your child go through such a horrible thing to then be accused of abuse, accused of not looking after them properly and maybe even taken. So please, if you take one thing from this research and talk about this debilitating illness, Stand up for the people who cannot themselves. Give them future hope. Call out their name. I have ME, but ME is not me. My name is Nicole Brown, and we will not be forgotten. Thank you.